this was our completed frame when we left off. We had just basically made the layout out of this piece of plywood, cutting holes in it. Uh, so let's proceed forward and assemble the rest of the frame. This step is optional. You can feel free to sand down this layout if you'd like. Uh, it's not essential if you don't want to. The first thing we want to do is create some cross beams to go under the face of our pipe marimba. You need to cut them to the same length, which is 61 inches in our case, also known as uh, distance L. So go ahead and cut two pieces to this length out of your 2x4. You'll need to use two different pieces because 2x4s don't last more than 96 inches. After you cut two, you can go ahead and screw them just as I'm doing right here to the bottom of your... You get to pick which side is the bottom, but you need to screw them in. Um, I put five screws going across and that seemed to be enough to hold it in place and keep it nice and sturdy. Screw one of these to both sides. The next step is to cut two more interior pieces. Now cut it to your own length because I just want to make sure that they're going to fit snugly in there um, and these things can fluctuate. So cut uh, to the inner distance of the 2x4s that are already uh, screwed into place. Um, and here I'm screwing them in. You can see exactly where that thing goes. Mine were a little over 13 inches. Um, and you can screw them into that side and then screw them into the other 2x4s as well to keep them nice and sturdy and everything really snugged up. The next step is to construct legs. Uh, I made mine 36 inches. You can make yours at any distance that you want to, to be honest with you, any height that you'd like. Um, just hold them in place and put at least three screws in to keep it nice and solid and keep it from wobbling back and forth. You can see with my finished product that I also put some cross beams down at the bottom of my legs to keep everything nice and sturdy. Now to get the tubes to stay in place, uh, you can use whatever leftover tubing you have, cut off rings. Actually when you were tuning your pipes, you could have used the scraps from, when you, uh, from the excess that you cut off. But basically you cut these rings um, and then snap them uh, so that it's a, an open ring. Put a bead of glue onto the sounding tube and then you can take your ring and spread it out since you already cut it and just place it onto that glue I use construction adhesive because that stuff sticks like nobody's business I think that's probably the best thing because it was only five dollars a tube very cheap and very effective 